Naleo Educational Fund found more than half of those responding to their survey still have not been contacted at all by any political party, campaign or other political organization. I think that it's also on us to look out and see our candidates and make our choices, do our research. Teresa Garcia Ruiz is part of the nearly 64% Hispanic population in Corpus Christi. We make the majority in a lot of areas, but if we don't vote, then our voice is not heard. Today, she set out to go vote at the Island University where she works, an institution with a Hispanic population of over 5,000 students. One student, Rebecca Ramirez, says her family will be voting blue. We want, like... Democratic candidates to, you know, obviously win. The Naleo Educational Fund found of those polled, 30% of Latino voters in Texas view the Republican Party as hostile to their community. Ramirez agrees. I kind of didn't like what they were saying. There was some, like, Connie Scott uh, issues between Barbara Canales, and it, it was very, like, disheartening to see, like, that ugliness between the two uh, candidates. TAMUCC political science professor Dr. Carlos Huerta tells us voter outreach is a lot of work. You know, we're seeing Democrats and Republicans and local candidates both really doing that, being very mindful, okay, we need to put people out here to get folks out to vote. With Election Day coming up, Huerta encourages the entire community to cast their ballot. On November 8th, the CCRTA will be giving free rides to anyone wanting to vote. We have that information on our website, kztv10.com. For Action 10 News, I'm Victoria Valderrama.